Greetings from the Nerd Cave in the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Stan Jibalisco here with another little experiment that I'd like to do for you. Playing with my new toy, a Radio Shack TRMS Digital Multimeter capable of measuring DC and AC voltage. Microammy uh, peers, milliammy uh, peers, and am peers, ohms, even nanofarads, and frequency in hertz. It's kind of a cool little meter. It cost sent me back, I believe, forty nine bucks. They got a couple of them there. That one of them just physically looks a little bigger than the other. Now you see that display going nuts there. I've got this thing set to measure volts. Actually, it's DC millivolts. DC millivolts. And I have here, as you can see, four size AA cells. Should make about a 6 volt battery. These things right here are rectifier diodes. Incidentally, what you're hearing in the background is Phase shift keying signals coming in on the ham radio station W1GV Whiskey One Golf Victor down here in the Nerd Cave. Been kind of listening to some of that stuff and copying some of those signals. Took a little time off to do this video. These rectifier diodes, the cathodes, are facing the negative battery terminal. You can see that black wire there. The anodes will be facing the positive battery terminal. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to actually connect it directly. What I'm going to do instead, the positive battery terminal, uh, you can't really see the lead, but it's right here where I'm putting this red probe right now. The positive battery terminal. 6.32 volts. That is the actual battery voltage. Now, what I'd like to do for you is demonstrate for you what happens if I measure this voltage at the anode of that diode instead. Now what we're getting is that this diode right there is in series with this circuit and it drops the voltage. Notice it drops it from 6.32 volts to 6.07 Oh, one volts thereabouts. Maybe, oh, I don't know, you can do the math in your head, but a little under three-tenths of a volt. Now let's put these two diodes in series and see what we get. 5.825, maybe another, another uh, maybe point two five volts or so five point eight two five now we're going to put a third diode in series five point five eight four so what we're getting five point five eight four we're, we're getting maybe a little under three tenths of a volt for a voltage drop across each one of these diodes but note there is no load connected across this circuit. Now what diodes do is they drop a voltage by a constant amount regardless, presumably regardless of the current through them. So they make a better voltage divider scheme than resistors do. And I showed you a resistor voltage divider a little bit ago. What I'd like to do though now is connect a load across this. Now we have the battery three diodes in series and then a load. That load is a presumably a one kilo ohm resistor but I measured its actual resistance as 981 ohms. But we've got a load across there so that we'll get a little bit of current through here. Now let's measure the battery voltage under load. Oops. Don't want to knock that meter off the table. 6.22 volts. It's dropped the voltage slightly. These are not particularly robust uh, cells here, you know, or this battery, 6 volts, but it's only these little double A size cells. So let's see what happens. How much voltage drop do we get? 
if we measure okay 6.25 let's try this 5.627 now that is a considerably greater voltage drop across that one diode because now it's carrying current so the idea that a diode will have a constant voltage drop regardless of the current through it is simply not true it's simply not true so if you've been told that and I don't I'm not sure whether my uh, books uh, teach yourself electricity and electronics makes that claim in theory as long as the current is constant through the diodes then uh, these diodes will display that kind of a voltage drop 5.6 Two five. Five point well it's not even five volts now. Just about five volts. Again, you've got to really bear down on these probes to get a good solid reliable reading. And I'm having a lot of trouble with that. A lot of trouble. But it's about uh, so it's about six tenths of a volt uh, drop there, and about another probably another six point six five or so there. Now that's the standard rated voltage drop for a silicon rectifier, which these are, and that does in effect hold true regardless of the current through them, as I've done in some experiments. It varies a little bit. But if you don't have any current going through them, if there's no load, you cannot rely on that uh, six tenths of a volt, five six tenths of a volt quoted figure. So the gist of this is that as long as you put a load on here, you get a pretty much constant voltage drop across these diodes. It's when you take the load off that things get messed up. Now with a resistive voltage divider, the voltage division ratios will change depending on the amount of current that you subject the circuit to and, and how heavily you load it down. That is a bad deal. That is definitely a bad deal. Let's, now that we've got this under load, let's actually measure the voltage across there. 613 millivolts, or 0.613 volts. So that 0.6 volt figure is pretty good. 613, 14 millivolts across that one. 613, not a fraction millivolts across that one. Across these two, twice that. Does that surprise you? Across these two, about twice that. Does that surprise you? And across all three of them, about three times that point. 6 uh, volt or 600 millivolt figure. So this makes for a very good voltage divider in increments of about 6 tenths of a volt. And you could just keep on adding more and more of these diodes in series until you had 10 of them. Then you'd get six, the whole 6 volts, presumably. Now you wouldn't want to dead short any diode across a battery or you'll burn that diode out you got to have a load that's a finite and a, a resistance that will not subject the diode to more current than it's designed to handle. But I picked a good, uh, decent resistance of 1,000 ohms, actually 980 ohms, so that it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't result in destruction. So that is the demonstration here with my new toy of a diode voltage reducer. You can find this experiment done in uh, more detail in my book Electricity Experiments you can do at home and the theory behind uh, silicon rectifier diodes and all kinds of rectification is outlined in considerable detail in my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics so with that I will sign off again with any meter when you're done using it whether it be digital or analog, switch it off. Switch it off. Save the battery in it. Stan Gibalisco signing off from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. 
Until next time, so long. <laughs>